Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. In Psalm 122, David said, I was glad when they said to me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Acts, Acts 20 Now on the first day of the week, when the disciples came together to break bread, Paul spoke to them. And in Hebrews 10, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Let's gather together today on this Lord's Day to worship and to look into the Word of God together and to encourage and pray for one another. I so long for the day when we can all gather in the Lord's house again without fear, without compromise. The body of Christ worshiping, studying the Word of God together. Titus 2.13, looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's coming soon. Let's pray. Lord, wake our hearts today with your presence and draw us into your house for worship and your word and our place in the body of Christ, encouraging one another, praying with and for one another, Father, I ask that you remove every obstacle that would keep your children from coming to your house. And Lord, remove every obstacle for those who can only join online. Father, answer every excuse, and I pray the Holy Spirit draw us into your presence today. Jesus, meet us there. Fill us so full of the presence of your, your strength through holy power that we stand before you on this Lord's day that your presence would flow through every connection with your love and power and purpose. Lord, touch your body of Christ today in your house. For those who gather with us online, let the presence of God through your word be powerful and alive. In Jesus' name, amen.